All right, welcome back everyone. We have our all of our parameters defined and we are ready to start assigning some actions to those parameters. And there's going to be two basic types of actions that we're going to need to deal with in terms of these linear parameters. In this length linear parameter, we're going to want the right side to move out away from our origin. And on the head thickness, we're going to want to move this end of the bolt head to the left, again away from the origin. The second type of linear parameter we're going to have to deal with is going to be these g over 2, g, and bolt diameter. And here we're going to want the action to move about the center, or again the origin. So this upper section of the diameter wants to move up, and the lower section wants to move down. That's going to require a little bit of uh, different techniques, whether we're looking at the length of the bolt versus the diameter of the bolt. So let's deal with length and head thickness. They're a little bit more straightforward. And let's get started. So I'm going to utilize the stretch command. And once I select that, I have four basic steps to go through. I need to select the parameter that I want to act on, select the end of the parameter that I want my action to be associated with, create a window, and then select objects inside that window. So let's do this. Length parameter, select, and AutoCAD is going to come up here in a second and ask me to um, define which end of the parameter I want to act on, and I think actually here I have missed my stretch command. So stretch, yeah, there we go, select parameter, and it's going to ask me which end do I want to act on. And so I could select the right end or the left end. So I'm going to move over here to the, to the right. I see that red X, which is indicating if I select that end, that's the end I'm going to work on. So I'll click there. And AutoCAD's going to take a minute here and think about this. Uh, my screen kind of is, again, bogging down a little bit, trying to record video and run AutoCAD at the same time. So now I'm being asked to specify a window. So I'm going to click upper left, lower right, and notice that I am enclosing the entire amount of threads and the right side of the bolt. I'll click that and this window now stays. Step four is to select the objects inside the window that want, I want to adjust. So I'm actually going to use just one large crossing window, select all those objects, and they are selected. So I'd like to have a little bit of a discussion here. Notice the line here is partially in and partially out of the selected window. We also know that every line in AutoCAD has grips associated with it. So what's going to happen here when, when this turns into a usable dynamic block, the grips that are inside the window will adjust and the grips that are outside won't. So for this longer bolt length line, it will stretch. Notice that on these angled thread lines, right, all grips associated with that line would be inside the selection window. So that object would actually move or all of those grips would move with the action. So those are the four steps I need to deal with on this length parameter. So I'm going to press enter. And notice that uh, this um, caution flag has disappeared and been replaced with a white box. It's basically a graphical representation of the action. If I hover over that, I see that it's a stretch action. If I right click, I can delete it, or I can also say I want to define a new selection set, basically replace the one I already have, or modify the existing one. And there are times where we need to go back and edit, and this is how we do this. It's action selection set, and then modify. Okay, I'll hit escape, and let's go work on this head thickness. 
So I'm going to again use my stretch command for action. Select the parameter. I'm going to select my head thickness. And AutoCAD's going to ask me which end I want to work on. I want to have the left hand side of my head move left so I'm going to kind of hover over that left end of the parameter until I see the preview X and um, then I'll click on that. So now AutoCAD is going to ask me to select a window and I'm going to select the entire left side of the bolt. So my bolt head is going to get thicker and I want it to get thicker relative to the origin. So you can see the preview of this window and I'll click it into place. So I'm going to want to select all of the objects that are inside this window <coughs> and the horizontal lines of course are partially in partially out and that's perfectly okay. I have my crossing selection and I can see that all of those objects are now selected. So these small, as an example, these smaller radii are going to move and the horizontal lines will stretch. I'll press enter and I now have this little white stretch action associated with the head thickness. So that takes care of our linear single-sided actions in the next section we'll come back and we'll start to deal with G, G over 2 and the bolt diameter and what we're gonna find there is that they are they require a little more attention a little more action to make them behave the way we need them to. Um, as an example if we want this portion to move up and the lower portion to move down we're going to repeat this stretch action we'll have a stretch action for the top side and a separate structure action for the bottom side. So we have these first two taken care of. I'll close this section, come back, and we can start to work on G, G2, and the bolt diameter. Hope this is helpful, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next section.